Alberto Ray, is this your baby? Yeah. Can you explain what's going on here? Okay, what we've got here is a Linux box. Okay. And Linux box um, is, is running the work. And then um, the Linux box is tied to the teletype machine mm -hmm. and allows it to play Zork on the teletype machine. Play Zork. Exactly. On the and, teletype uh, machine. The idea here is that um, Zork was originally programmed by a guy at MIT in the 70s and probably would program on a teletype machine very much like this one. Which meant that it was also played on a teletype machine. And so it seems appropriate to play Zork on a teletype. Now, where in 2012 do you get a functioning teletype machine and how do you hook it up to contemporary technology? Well, you get it on Craigslist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what, if, what have you got this hooked up with? Okay, well, basically what we have here, um, this goes through an RS-232 port in the back. Okay. Okay, comes in back here. Have a little board in the back here. The thing of it is, though, is that um, you can't really see it well. We can open it up, but you really can't see the board very well. Ooh, kind of it's... hidden way down in there. Okay. And um, teletype machines don't uh, speak RS-232. Um, instead, they do what's called 20 milliamp current loop. So um, RS-232, R2, it represents bits by a plus 12 volts minus 12 volts signal. Um, teletypes, instead, they use uh, twin million is current or no current to represent bits. So I've got a little circuit in there that converts the plus and minus 12, um, the plus and minus 12 volts for, for the RS-232 um, to twin million current loop to print and also the twin million current loop from the keyboard to RS-232 to go back out. Cool. And just so you can see it really is playing Zork. And if you go up a little further here you can actually see that it um, has uh, the uh, login and the Ubuntu um, boot up. Mm -hmm. So it is actually uh, running Linux. Brilliant. And in fact, um, you uh, uh, you can actually run Linux commands from the Linux um, command prompt. You don't want to run like an X server or anything on it, though, right? <laughs> no, can't really run an X server. You get a little bit confused. It's, it's a very non-intelligent device. <laughs> Uh, in fact, even um, uh, running the man command, which is um, um, the manual or help command in, in Linux, uh, because um, later versions of Linux are, are, are uh, set up to use a screen, uh, the man command gets very confused and it gets, it, it gets stuck and have to restart everything. Right. So to total cost to run Zork on a, uh, on a teletype device? Uh, teletype itself, I paid 150 I've got two uh, pick processors in there that, that do a little processing to make this work and a little circuit in there, so it's probably about 20 bucks in electronics. Um, and, uh, and the cost of the box. And old used computer. Uh, I had a setting room. Sure. Awesome. Thank you. Pleasure.